leave here tonight the way she enters as the UFC champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Fog Rose Narayunas! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Amanda, the Lioness Nunes! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. tonight, Dateline, Newark, New Jersey, inside the Prudential Center. The Devils are not here, the UFC athletes are here, and hoping for some more UFC history inside these walls tonight, Jim. From the 76th to the Devils, you understand, the fans in this area know the sport, so you better be ready to give them a show tonight, or they're gonna pull you out of the pool. Oh, solid leg kicks by Nama Yus. Oh, she's really using her reach advantage to great effect here tonight, lands the punch. Oh, and there's another leg kick. Just out, right? I mean, now she has sort of rendered her opponent, as you see the damage of a one-legged fight. She is fighting a one-legged fighter, a wounded gazelle right in front of a right. hungry lion. That is not a great position to be. Oh, what a punch. Again, in the clinch. Oh, big knee there. Doug Rose going for the head kick. No dice. That is a thudding leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. Whoa! She can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. That's how you finish a fight. Oh, wow! Head kick. Just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunes. Dig and kick. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, beautiful scramble by her there to avoid the takedown and get this fight back to the feet. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender. This there, this could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Head kick lands. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see what? You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. Spinning back fist. Back and forth we go. Huge right hand! Whoa! Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort. Nama Yunus' submission game is underrated. She goes for the triangle here. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket 
She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. All right, here we go now with our second round. Amanda Nunes and Thug Rose Namayus. Fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent her bad. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual floor. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. 44 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Nunes. And landing with 47% accuracy against Rose Namajunas. A beautiful jab by her there. You know, we referenced her reach advantage on the tail of the table. And certainly made good use of it there. She blocked the punch. His lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. Oh, shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Oh, nice strike on the ground for it. Back to the feet now. 90 seconds to go. Impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nunez's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, that's the end of round number two. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go as the next round gets underway. The big storyline in the previous round, of course, the high volume of body strikes. We'll see if she chooses to go back to it. When you're trying to punch the head, the head moves, the body doesn't. She's taken the bigger target and she's made it her priority. She's beating up the body. Oh, legs. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and get back to your feet. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly... Oh! 
She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's a strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. And there she is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop to this contest. At two minutes, 29 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Fog Rose Naraina! Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that kill shot.